Lloyd, thank you very much for that as well. And we've got a, a couple of more questions. Uh, up next, we have uh, Renee uh, Locher, Locher, forgive me for butchering your name, but thank you for unmuting. Appreciate it, Renee, go ahead. Hi there, it's Locker, thank you. Um, I'm just wondering, I know this goes back to the device question, but I'm wondering if you um, know anything about the key shield or the key home, it's QI devices, and they're supposed to shield from um, EMFs. I don't know if you have any experience with those. Okay, so I do actually. <laughs> oh, great. Um, so there are many uh, of these devices on the market. And uh, again, so let's just be clear. Uh, we do the OM. We do the under we understand what we're dealing with. We measure it. We get ourselves a meter at some point so we can measure it. And we mitigate as well as best we can. And then when we've done all that, then we look at devices like this. And uh, so the chi or key or, you know, however you want to call it, the Synergy uh, brand. I have actually explored these and I've, had, I've interviewed um, Paul Barrett-Tiero, who is the CEO of uh, Synergy. And the reason I've interviewed him is because they've got some science behind it. They've actually spent quite a lot of money on the science. And what also makes this technology different is that um, their studies show that there is a measurable reduction in uh, field strength uh, from, a, from introducing these devices into the home. This is, as far as I'm aware, this is the only device which you can actually measure the reduction like that. Uh, because most of them, it's like you buy it and you believe it and it harmonizes, and, but you can't actually see it for yourself. And here, well, if you had a lab laboratory, you would be able to see it for yourself. But I mean, even with a meter, whatever, you, you know, you wouldn't be able to see that. Um, but it, their studies show this, in, you know, uh, they've had studies, um, spent a lot of money on studies, which are showing this. So when you've done everything else, then why not? Yeah, absolutely. Why not? But again, even though, and this is, I mean, I actually spoke to Paul just last week, um, interviewed him with regard to my upcoming EMF Health Summit. I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about that, which I'm doing, but anyway, I've said it now. Um, and he's going to be actually on there and um, to pick his brains, to pull this apart so that people can understand exactly, um, you know, what this uh, pr protection, uh, this device um, offers. But in any case, here's my, so here's my take. So do all that, do the OM the measurable mitigation, and then introduce this, uh, you know, this uh, device. And yeah, why not? Why not Synergy? And again, suck it and see, you know, listen to your body, you know, plug it in. Uh, I don't think it's actually a plug in device, that one. But anyway, put it in your office or whatever, put it in your home, and then see how you feel. Give yourself a week, see how you feel. Um, only buy from companies where you've got a money back guarantee okay because there's a whole load of junk out there which frankly does nothing uh we've got some really great marketing behind it and um but it does nothing it does nothing and it gives you this false sense of security and then you know you're that is a slippery slope and that's what you want to avoid all right thank you for that um we have had Jeff Kreps waiting on the line very patiently now for a while. So, Jeff, I'm going to ask you to go ahead and unmute yourself. And if you would uh, ask us your brief question for Lloyd Burrell. Go ahead, Jeff. We can hear you now. Hmm. Jeff, I see that you're unmuted, but we're not hearing you. Not sure if there's something we can adjust. You know what, Jeff? And, and now you've gone back. Oh, Jeff, you there? So, Jeff, I'm not sure if there's something on your end. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move on to the next question for now. And if you can just see if you can figure out maybe there's something going on on your end. Um, and so for now, Jeff, I will come back to you shortly. Thanks for your patience. And let's move on to looks like Joanne Goodman. Joanne, I'm going to go ahead and ask you to unmute. Uh, and if you would, we look forward to hearing your uh, brief question for Lloyd. Go ahead, Joanne. Thank you very much, all of you, for your service. Um, 
I purchased a uh, silver lining from a uh, hoodie from EMF less or less EMF. I'm not sure because I, uh, I, I'm alone. And the only connection I have with the world now is um, through my Zoom meetings. And I was getting a headache, like after like 15, 20 minutes being even on the regular phone, I was getting head pain which scared me because my brother died of um, brain cancer. And like a year before he got diagnosed, I told him, Danny, stop keeping that phone near your head. And uh, anyway, he thought I was making too big of a deal out of things. So back to me, I get this head pain after about 15 minutes, uh, even on the regular phone on speaker, staying about four or five feet away. Um, and so I got this hoodie that's silver lined and they assured me that um, their meters indicated that it gave 98% protection, but I'm still getting the head pain. Uh, sometimes it feels even worse with the silver thing on it. So I don't know if that's my imagination or what. So I appreciate having, uh, hearing your, the benefit of your experience with this. Thank you. Okay, thank you, John. Um, so, um, I don't actually recommend shielded clothing, particularly, um, unless it's full body. And then if it's full body, it's like, well, how can you, you know, who wants to walk around in a bee suit, bee suit keeper suit kind of thing? That's the problem. So we're back to the carrot Faraday cage effect. That's the only way to get the complete protection because any other kind of protection you know how emfs work um so they kind of uh ping 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 round a bit like you know in a bedroom if don't if you've ever tried to create total darkness and then you just have one crack you know you put you've got your blinds and your curtains and everything and one crack and that one crack it just like creates a bit of light all around the room because it's that's what the light does well that's kind of what emfs do radio frequencies in any case that's the problem so wearing a cap or wearing any kind of um shielded uh clothing has its limitations unless it's full body and that's the problem with all of that um and so you you do have to listen to your body and it is actually rather difficult to listen to your body sometimes um to get the clear message on whether something is beneficial or not beneficial. Um, but yeah, so I, I would be, if, if you're getting a reaction, which is a, a not a good reaction to this, then I would be avoiding using those kind of, uh, you know, this kind of shield of clothing. And instead what I would be looking at is, um, yeah, he's like using the, the speakerphone is like uh, making distance your friend. He's putting distance between you and the device and, uh, you know, all these other ways that we can reduce our exposure, um, uh, you know, instead of uh, shielded clothing, which is actually putting non-natural materials in close contact with your body. So, you know, always, you know, nature knows best. Think about it like that. Nature knows best. And um, so most of these this shield of clothing actually got metal in it and you know so does that sound healthy i think not so that that's uh, that's my take on that one <laughs>